and welcome back to Cage Land. Thank you so much for clicking that view button. I really appreciate it. If you are new here, my name is Chris. I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and stick around. So today's video is all about the etiquette of other people's home, <laughs> how to be the perfect house guest. These are things that I think that we should all kind of talk about. Like, let's talk about it, girl. Like, these are things that I think people feel like, oh, people should just know that. Everybody know to do these things. Mm, girl, no. I have parties all the time. I actually love to host parties. I love having people over. I love cooking. I love entertaining. But there's just a few things I feel like we should talk about before you show up. Okay? <laughs> Before I wrap up all of the things that I think makes a perfect house guest, I have a few people that I just randomly stopped <laughs> and I asked them, what did they want in the perfect house guest? Bring some shit, bring some stuff. You like people in your kitchen? Um, not really. No. I just want them to respect my shit, you know? Well, they won't be cooking in my kitchen. Lots of liquor. It's telling you to put your dog up because they scared. Yeah. Respect punctuality. Because of that, don't be in here roaming around looking for stuff that ain't yours. Don't come up here with all your little badass kids, break them a glass and stuff. You should know how to conduct yourself and conduct what you do. You go, if you're going to stay tonight over here, you're going to clean up what you messed up and probably some milk that I messed up. You uh, don't know. Uh, do pop up. Something. 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 Bring something. Oh, yes, you can. To paper <laughs> don't be packing no plates. Trying to take everybody around the neighborhood a plate because you don't told them that you're going to your grandma's house and your mama's house. Please don't come doing it. <laughs> no, you can't take no food with you because I'm going to eat that. Um, well, I mean, if they contribute to, to a bill, yeah. that's where the toilet <laughs> tissue comes into play and the paper towel. Don't be coming with your children jumping all over the couches and stuff. Tell them to sit down. Oh, they just gotta go. Yeah, but then they didn't tell you they bring their friend. Mm. They didn't say they would bring two, three more other people. <laughs> then when they leave, they packing up plates, highs on the way. They don't eat two, three, four times, <laughs> carrying all your bill, your look on out the house. <laughs> Please don't do that this holiday, okay, y'all? Oh, you ain't taking nothing home. I'm gonna eat all this. The first thing on my list, I would say, is to announce you are coming. Oh my gosh, I know that a lot of people are like, girl, everybody knows this. Mm mm, mm mm. Let's not act like people know these things, guys. <laughs> Let's just take it for what it is. A lot of people don't know if it's your uncle, your aunt, you're like, that's my family, I could just show up. Not really. <laughs> they might have a crowd there that may not be your crowd. They may have coworkers only, friends only party. I mean, there's a lot of different holiday parties that's going on. And if you don't announce you're coming, you could kind of mess up a few things or, you know, they could just not be prepared for you. So make sure that you announce that you are coming to anyone's home, not just my home, girl, but anybody's home, okay? <laughs> the next thing is to not bring extra people with you oh if they have not been discussed don't bring extra people if we have not talked about you bringing your new boo your new beau your kids cousins and you know your uncles your aunts and your friend from high school if we have not talked about you bringing them to my house please don't show up with them <laughs> because you make it very uncomfortable for people to tell you i really don't have enough food for your guests or you should have told me that they were coming you know it could be any situation so just to keep the peace make sure that you announce anyone you are going to bring over don't don't bring no surprise guests either girl like I just don't I ain't with that <laughs> so now that we have that out the way you're gonna announce you are coming and you are not gonna bring extra people unless we discuss it okay so the next thing is to show up on time <sighs> this is one of those things that I'm guilty of this too <laughs> So I can't even really talk. I would show up two hours late if I have to do my makeup or my hair or the kids and I have all these excuses on why I don't show up but it's really inappropriate. It's really rude to not show up on time. If I tell you that the dinner is gonna start at 2.30, please show up on time. Please show up at least three, 30 minutes, I would give you a good 30 minutes because technically I'm probably not ready, you know, until 30 minutes after the time I told you to show up. So I just think that it's, you know, just kind of appropriate to show up around the time <laughs> that um, I told you to come. Okay, so here's a thing that I know most people won't agree with, but I feel as though 
you should always bring something with you. Do not show up to anyone's home this year empty handed. I think that you can get the smallest gift. You can get a bottle of wine, have a tray, some soda, some anything or anything. <laughs> you can go to Dollar Tree and pick up a small little coffee mug. There's so many inexpensive things that you really can pick up. And let's be honest, you had, you know, most of the time you know that you're gonna go to someone's home. So you kind of had a little bit of time to plan. Make sure you did, you you do not show up empty handed this year. All right, so my next thing is to clean up after yourself. If the host is like me, they would probably tell you, no girl, don't worry about it, but I really don't mean it. <laughs> I really want all the help I can get. I have been slaving in the kitchen all day. I really could use a lot of help. And I know it's not just me. Your host wants some help. Your aunts want some help. Your grandmother wants some help. And although they're probably a little too nice to ask for it, it's just good for you to offer. So so if you want to be the perfect house guest, offer to help clean up. Don't just eat and dash, okay? We're not doing that. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing is to be inviting. Be friendly. Even if there's people there that you don't know, be nice to them. You may make a new friend. Uh, it's good to make a great impression, especially if you're family members and they have all of their friends and their co-workers and stuff. It's not going to be nice if you're in the corner pouting because you don't know anybody. Ooh, well, it was me. Get into the game. Have fun. Come with games. There's a ton of games online that you can have already ready to play you can come with board games you can come with a list of movies that everyone may want to watch just do something to contribute to the fun that you are all gonna have my next thing I would say is to leave on time uh, leave on time if you say you are gonna leave on Sunday because you've been there since Thursday honestly I'm not the house I'm not the host to ever tell you to leave I'm just not cut out for that I just could never tell someone okay it's time for you to go I'm not there yet but however a lot of times when you have a ton of people around and you're cooking and you're you want to get back to your normal routine people just want their space back so you know not asking you to leave is just them being nice but honestly we're ready for you to go so don't wear out your welcome leave when you say you're gonna leave don't just kind of like girl See, what had happened was, we don't want to hear any of that. <laughs> Make sure your kids are well behaved when they go to other people's homes, even if they don't behave at your own home. Don't have your kids with their feet all over the couch, jumping all over the couch like, girl, at least act like you've been somewhere, okay? <laughs> so the last thing I would say is to send a thank you note just to say thank you so much for having me and all of my kids and my blue boo over at your house and you did all the cooking. I really appreciate it. I think that a perfect gift to say thank you is, you know, Dollar Tree sells cards for one dollar like 10 to the pack a card with maybe a picture from the day uh, a picture of all the hard work that i did of the food or anything like that like something to just say thank you so much for having me and i'm pretty sure that they will love to have you back the next year all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video <laughs> This is kind of fun. I actually kind of like this. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you hit the like button because y'all know these are things we have to talk about. <laughs> Even though we kind of feel like, well, they should just know these. No, we don't. Because I, for one, I'm guilty, y'all. I'm guilty. I show up late everywhere I go. Okay. <laughs> I can't help it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Happy Thanksgiving to you all. And listen, if you are guilty of any of these things, don't try to turn the camera off, okay? Don't turn it off. Don't turn it off. Just do better next time. It may be some people in your party right now that's guilty of at least one, two, five of the things that I mentioned today. <laughs> it's okay. Don't put them on blast. Just, just share this video. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye. We'll have this gonna be a good holiday. Bring some stuff. Bring some stuff. Bring Edna. Bring the little bring some drink. And you know what else?